Hello, and welcome back to the Multanic Plays Fire Emblem Three Houses. I'm Platinum Hog, aka Kyle, and last time we left off, uh, I, I, I wanted, I wanted to stop the save screen, but I, I, I neglected to do that. So now we're stuck with Sir Chad's a lot. Don't you recognize me? It's Alois, your old right hand man. Well, that's how I always thought of myself, anyway. Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. You haven't changed a bit, Alois, just as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary, one who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. Right. Goodbye, Captain. Wait, that isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Garig Mach Monastery. Uh, I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? He's a stranger to me. I'm a bandit. That is correct. Something along those lines, is I assume. Is that so? Well, physical differences aside, your mannerisms do remind me of the captain. I'd love for you to see the monastery, too. You will join me, won't you? It sounds like church. I don't like church. <sighs> I feel you, Gerald. What's troubling you, Captain? <sighs> you aren't about to run off again, are you? Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. The Knights of Saros? They do seem rather skilled. The voice in my head? Who's this? Ah, it seems your presence is required. Get going. All right, mother. Head mother. I appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Geralt, the Bladebreaker? Former captain of the Knights of Saros, oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? Ah, I don't know, I wouldn't say the strongest. I mean, <laughs> I didn't know he was a captain. How curious. Edelgard I'd wager watch. the explanation for that is fascinating indeed. <laughs> Probably. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? <laughs> of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh no, that sounds like church. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers Academy at Garrig Mach Monastery. Then again, maybe it's for you, Claude. Maybe I will. <laughs> we were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. That would be because you ran off. I don't know, he, 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 he did a pretty good job of staying clear. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Ah, yes. He ran away like a man. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Looking at you, bad haircut. Because of that, Forehead. every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. <laughs> I feel you, Claude. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. Think again, bad haircut. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. Forehead's got the right idea. <laughs> you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. But I like you a lot. You're cool. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Naivete. Me. Naive. Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you, if you can spare a moment. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. 
Martin showed me, I still have my... Your skill is precisely Oops. why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now. I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please, allow me to finish my own proposition. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Please, do consider returning to the Kingdom with me. Whoa there, you two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. I like Claude. I think I said that right, but... <laughs> oh. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well? Hmm. Well, oh. all I can say is the easy one. Whichever one, uh... Oh, uh, yeah. Hadur. Claude, go Is that right? Well, that's a win for the Alliance, so I suppose I'm obligated to be happy. How could I? <laughs> all right, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. Time to roll. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. Truly. One has a bad haircut, one has a forehead, and the other one's just hot. I like him. His easy smile. Striking, but that smile does doesn't reach his eyes. She is a refined young woman, but I feel as though she is always evaluating me. Bad haircut. He seems quite sincere, but his haircut is bad. But I sense there's darkness lurking beneath that bad haircut. Yes, I thought the same. Sleepy was here. It's okay. You can you can just take a nap in my head. It's cool. Oh, I may be sleeping, but I. Oh, time to save. How many times have I done that? Part 1. White Clouds. Great Tree Moon. Three Houses. Just for the record, I was going to read that. The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodlan, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. This will be your first time at the monastery. 
I'd be happy to show you around. Yeah, it really sounds is like church. Linen in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. Whatever you say, Mitsuru san. There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery. It sounds like church. That man has a monocle and a mustache. She doesn't dress like a teacher. <laughs> I'm full of criticism today, aren't I? It's Sumimasen. My apologies. Ray is here. the flow of time bring you here? We have no expression on our face. Yeah. It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now, uh... I don't know, Dad. We seem to be stuck in JPEG land. In flat... Low resolution JPEG land. Her? You been here before? Well, I think this has been established at this point, so her? You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Yeah. Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Yeah. Hmm. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. Huh. That seems a familiar-sounding word. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Yeah. Thank you for your patience, Gerald. My name is Setic. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Right. Hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Eh. Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? You it's to you, lady. Yes. Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child. But I'm afraid we lost her to illness. I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? My name is. Da, 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 da. Let's be blunt. Rhea, go A up. A fine name indeed. Yes, dot 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 is quite the fine name. I do agree. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officers' Academy. Shucks. Hmm. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now, but I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. Ah. <sighs> I can't believe it. Forced back into the Knights of Saros. 
That sucks. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. We have a really large nose, you know? I just noticed that. As a mercenary? As a servant? Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. Really? You heard those brats earlier talking about the Officers Academy, right? Well, the Academy just happens to be short a professor. And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. Darn him. So, you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. Lady, are you hitting on me? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. And watch out for Lady Rhea. Roger Dodger. I don't know what she's thinking making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. Will do. Oh, it's you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. I am Hanneman, a Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officer's Academy. Nice to meet you, Mr. Hanneman. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. Uh, you insist. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's nice to meet you. I question a few of those credentials. You're a physician? You're a songstress? Uh... Well, the songstress seems a little more believable. Physician? <laughs> I look too pretty for that line of work, do I? But yes, that is not when I'm said. not teaching, I can be found in the infirmary. If you're ever lonely, please do come and pay me a visit. I would love to... Please stop hitting on me, lady. Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuela. Thank you, Hanneman. Now then, it seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. Is that I so? expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Uh... Do you really not know? Fine. I'll do you a favor and explain. Okay. The Officers' Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. Interesting. Interesting. Do I go on? The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Got it. People with big old foreheads. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. Wouldn't she be an Empress? Just never. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Got it. People with bad haircuts. Roger. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next King of Fargus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Got it. The house of real, you know, gangsters and hot guys and... Yeah? Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. Raw. To think that the next Emperor, King, and Sovereign Duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. Do you say so? I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the Academy to get your bearings. And when you've a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. Okay. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. 
It's more fun that way. You sly woman, you. I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. Okay. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. Please. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is... Hey, I'm at least... 22. I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Geralt's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Geralt character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? Well, this is an approximate for our age, by the way. I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. Sounds like I pray that nothing that occurs to shake that confidence. <gasps> yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. <laughs> that loading will never catch up to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Come and get me, loading bar. <laughs> oh, shoot! Word up, Lady R. How's it hanging? Of course. Oh, sweet. Um, we're gonna call it an episode here. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been uh, the Multanic Plays File Emblem Bio Emblem Three Houses. Uh, I'm Platinum Hog, aka Kyle. Um, please do like, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined. And until next time, have a good night.